the all-seeing eye, right? The all-seeing eye with the eye in the triangle. Look at the Masonic artwork showing you the triangle above in the sky. This is symbolizing the ethereal planes. The eye in the triangle symbolizes your con your invisible intelligence, your mind, which has the ability to see on either side. Because the triangle is the ether ether ethereal plane. The eye is your consciousness, your intelligence. And this intelligence has the ability to see in the physical plane and to see in the ethereal planes, in the astral planes. This is why it's above the earth. It's above the ground. Because it can see here. It can see in the heavenly realms. Now, the stars are, well, this is known as heaven. The realms of the astral. The astral planes. This is some quotes from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Out of the darkness ye must rise upwards, one with the light and one with the stars. Man is in process of changing to forms that are not of this world. Grows he in time to the formless, a plane on the cycle above. So there's other worlds. The, the Bible's telling you there's other worlds, there's other realms. Know ye, ye must become formless before ye are one with the light, the astral light above, which shining through the stars. Not of the earth are ye, earthy, but a child of the infinite cosmic light. You are the invisible intelligence controlling the physical body. The body's not you. It's the vehicle that your soul lands in when your mind projects your consciousness into that realm. Free from the body, I flashed through the night. Unlocked at last for me was the star space. Wow, that's powerful. The star space, the astral planes. This is what he's talking about. We are all a star. We descended from the astrals, which is the star. We are all a star. Look at the ancient paintings of Jesus' birth. It's the star beaming his consciousness down into the physical plane. Here's another one. Here's some Freemasonic artwork showing you, again, the ether, that invisible intelligence, the eye, manifesting itself inside of here in the physical realm, where the people are. You see? It's the same here. This is Jesus. Here's the whole. The bird symbolizes the Holy Spirit, your invisible intelligence, descending into the waters, the ether, the ethereal, everything. The, eth the ether is the base of all physical matter. His truth in plain sight. Mr. Bean, the famous TV, pre TV program in England, in the UK, uh, he starts, he starts, he begins the program like we all begin the program for falling from the stars. He falls down with a beam of light. And this is truth in plain sight. This is false. The aliens don't exist. They're a lie, a lion. But this symbolizes the star beam in our consciousness. And when we die, this star will suck us back up. Just like this UFO is doing. It's truth in plain sight. So, this is some more Freemasonic artwork going from duality to singularity. Sun, moon, masculine, feminine. Right hemisphere, feminine. Left hemisphere, masculine. The consciousness in the center, the balance point. Here's another more Freemasonic artwork. The two pillars, left and right hemispheres, and the invisible intelligence between the left and right hemispheres, the light of the body. This is why light's coming off it. Because it's light, it's pure light. The blazing star. The stairs go from the checkered board, the duality, up to oneness, in between the sun and the moon, the masculine and the feminine. This is symbolizing going into oneness. What did the Emerald Tablet say? You've got to become one with the stars, one with the one, one with the self. Balancing the two hemispheres so that you can gain, because when the two hemispheres are balanced, you can gain a more deeper connection with your invisible intelligence. Same with the chakras. When the chakras, the seven seals in the Bible, 
These are seven seals because when you conquer the seven chakras, when you balance the seven chakras, you then gain a, a, a more deeper connection with your internal self because your mind is not filled. It's not being ran. It's not being dominated by these seven deadly sins, the seven seals, the seven chakras. These are seven energy centers which are concealing our true form. Balance makes us have a stronger connection with our true cosmic intelligence. Heaven is even. This is why Jesus is pointing at the heart. The even point is the heart. you got to balance the chakras and live from the heart because the heart is the earth. You're in good and evil. The body manifests the lower and the higher self. The higher self is in the higher parts of the body. Wisdom, intuition, expression. The lower self is in the lower parts of the body, sex, food, and power. This is how they are trapping your soul, people. Like I said, the mind is the bridge between the soul and the body. So by tricking the mind, not giving it the right knowledge, and keeping the mind stuck in the lower three centers, thinking about power, food, and sex, this is low vibrate low vibrating energy it's going to keep your mind addicted to the physical realms okay this is why you need to go even balance heaven okay i will explain the soul trap in a second how it fully works but i'm telling you all the science behind it so you can understand when you are doomed you are domed this is the dome the firmament, the firmament, the mind. Ment is mind, firm is firm. A firmament is doomed under the firmament. You must have a loose mind, an open mind to expand your consciousness beyond the stars, beyond the ethereal barrier. You have to vibrate higher than this world. Your consciousness must be expanded more than the physical plane. You need to learn how to astral project. You need to learn how to leave the body, how to operate outside of the body, so that you, when you do leave the body, you will have recognition. You will have knowledge. You will have uh, practice. But this is as above, so below. The woman's, the woman's uh, belly is the earth. It's as above, so below. It's a microcosm of the macrocosm. We are the children in the womb. We are the people in the earth being, being ready to be born into the heavenly realms. As above, so below. It's a microcosm, macrocosm. Everything is in everything on a bigger and a, a smaller and a larger scale. Now, when the baby figures out that there is a world beyond its mother, what happens? The baby starts to move around and tries to get out of the mother. Because once it starts to hear the external world, starts to hear people, it's going to wonder, what's outside of the, what, why am I in here? What's outside? So the baby will force its way out, out of the mother. It's the same with our minds as above, so below. When our minds are... When our minds figure out that there are other realms beyond this world, we will seek a way out. This is the womb, the mother earth, mother nature. It's the mother. We're in the womb. We can be born out of this world, which is being born again in the Bible. When you are doomed, you are domed under the dome, under the firm mens, the firm mind. The firm mind will keep you under the firmament. Due to the law of polarity, there has to be other realms. There has to be. Because the law of polarity works in this world and it will, it will, it will work on every scale possible. It's universal laws. These are universal laws. The law of polarity means that there are other realms polarizing this realm. There is a hell, there is a heaven. 
there is a midpoint, which is mid-God, which is the one we are in now. Earth, heart. Earth is the heart. Heart is the center. Good and bad. The balance between good and bad. Your reality is your level of realization. Your mind realizes as other worlds, you will seek a way to them worlds. It's that simple. The soul trap is to keep you stuck in this physical body, which is the earth. This body is the earth. It's running the program, like I said at the set, at the beginning. It's running the simulation that your consciousness is experiencing. You are an electromagnetic being, and you're hidden in a, in a cage, your rib cage, and you're stuck in cells, the prison cells, you're, you're in cells. We produce electromagnetic energy. Your soul produces this energy. And by trapping your consciousness inside of this physical realm, they harness this energy within the astral realms. They're using you to manifest demons because your mind creates demons through emotions and uh, mental thought energy, which is a whole nother video. I can make a video on that. Uh, you're manifesting everything for them because they're, they're, they're trying to create a hive mind. This is why they want everyone to believe in one belief system, one government, one belief system, one religion, because they're creating a hive mind. This hive mind will manifest and be summoned within the within the astral planes because the mind manifests the astral plane. The astral plane is the the realm of imagination. The mental plane is the is the realm of just thought alone. The etheric plane is the energy. The physical plane is the matter. So all of our minds together are manifesting these demons within the subcon within these uh, subconscious realms, the astral. Now. How are they keeping you stuck to this realm? Well, when you die and you're stuck in your lower three chakras, okay, when your mind and soul detaches from this, from the body, which is the earth, when you leave the earth, you're still going to have these mental addictions to the food, the sex, the materialism, the phone, the cigarettes, the f everything. This is why they get you addicted to everything possible. The TikTok, the YouTube, they're gonna get you, they get you addicted to as many things possible. Because when your mind is addicted to these things, and when this mind leaves the physical body, you're still gonna have these addictions. Okay, you're still gonna have these thoughts, and you will be manifested into the lower astral realms because you're you're thinking materialistic, you're thinking negative. Because your your level of realization was your reality. You were manifesting hell on the earth. When you leave the body, you're going to manifest hell in the astral planes, which means you'll be vibrating on the very low, which will put you in the lower astral realms. So guess what? You're going to come back. You're going to come back into materialism. You're going to reincarnate. Because you haven't prepared after, for life after death. You must detach from the external world. Okay, moon is mind. The sun is the soul, the earth is the body, the moon is the mind. This is why we say lunatic. In your mind, you have a specific mood. Moon. Money, M-O-N, is the moon. Money exists in the mind. They get you addicted to the money. The Bible's telling you this. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's telling you of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Who knew that the Bible was this deep? Matthew 16, 26, what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? James 4, 4, don't you know that friendship with this world means en enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of this world, of the world, becomes an enemy of God. John 4.4 4, Dear children, are from God and have overcome them. Because the one who is in you 
is greater than the one who is in the world. It's talking about the invisible intelligence. It's greater than the physical world. John 2.15, do not love this world, nor the things it offers you. Because this world will create you to, if your mind has attachments to what this world offers, sex, money, and power, pretty much, you will reincarnate here. You will come back here. Because when you leave the body, your mind will still have these addictions. Do not love the world, nor the things it has to offer you. All of this is in my newly published book. The paperback versions are now available. Finally, for all the people who have been waiting, the Book of Wisdom. All of this knowledge is inside of the Book of Wisdom. The paperbacks are available. There is worldwide shipping. You can get it anywhere, pretty much, any country. My new website, it's, it's amazing. There's going to be some amazing products coming on the new website. But I thank you all for the support. Before I leave, I need to explain what is going on with the soul trap. Like I said at the beginning, the mind's the bridge between the soul and the body. The body's the realm. By tricking your mind with false knowledge, they are keeping your soul stuck to this realm. They get you addicted to all the physical things, and that is it. As soon as you're addicted and you die, you're going to come back. So by tricking your mind, which is the bridge between the realms, they keep your mind stuck within this body. They keep you in physicality. They devail you, the devil, the devail. Thank you all for the support, people. If you do want to join the Academy, all the links will be posted below this video for the book, The Academy. Thank you all for the support and have an amazing day.